flows. Life, love and light. Alike other awakened ones, Jesus said, those who have eyes, let them see. Those who have ears, let them hear. Nanak dedicated three compositions on the art of listening, followed by overflows on the mind. Nanak emphasized listening brings end to despair, agony and pain. Did those to whom he spoke not have the eyes and ears? Of course, they had eyes and ears. But mere presence of eyes and ears is not enough for seeing or for hearing. Something else is necessary and without it, the existence or non-existence of eyes and ears is irrelevant. That something else is inner silence and watchful awareness. It is only when these qualities are there that the doors of the mind are open and that something can, something can be said and heard. I expect this kind of hearing from you during the new series, an insight through the overflows, an insight through overflows as I am taking you through life, love and light, a classic work by Nivedita Rimba, available on Amazon. Part of this book is a dialogue, a communion between Nivedita and her master. When the series of the talk began, it was the, to respond to her questions and problems in life. Later on it was revealed that the questions the author had asked are the questions of everyone. She had the courage to ask and others did not. So it was decided to present it into the book form that it can help the others as well. Once you have mastered this art, it becomes your lifelong companion. This alone can rid you of trivial preoccupations. It can awaken you to the great mysterious world outside and you will begin to experience the eternal light of consciousness that is what is behind the tumult of the mind. Remember right seeing and right hearing and not only a necessity for any particular moment, instead are the foundation of all right living as you traverse through life and living to reach the light at the end of the tunnel. Both ends are shores of life and light are bridged through love that flows between as awareness and understanding as consciousness. Just as everything is clearly reflected in a lake that is totally calm without ripples, that which is the truth, that which is God, will be reflected in you when you become calm and still like a lake. I see much silence and calm coming to you and I see your eyes inviting me to say what it is I wish to say. They are urging me to share the truth I have seen and that have moved my soul. Your hearts are eager 
and impatient to hear about them? Seeing that you are so willing and ready to hear, my heart is impelled to pour itself onto you. In these peaceful musical surroundings, the inner surroundings, when your minds are perfectly calm as well, I shall certainly be able to say what it is that I wish to say to you all. It often happens that I must refrain from speaking when I see deaf hearts before me. Doesn't light remain outside when it finds the doors of your house closed? The sunlight does not enter. In the same way, I often stand outside many a house. But it is good sign that your doors are open and it is a good beginning. We shall embark on this new journey tomorrow morning and by and by and by the way of introduction I would like to say a few things. For one's own inner journey, for the realization of truth, the mind has to be prepared in a way one prepares the soil for the cultivation of flowers. And so, I would like you to bear a few maxims in mind. The first maxim is, live in the present during the entire series. Do not be carried away by your habits of thinking about the past and the future. If you allow yourself to be carried away, the living moment, the really important thing will be wasted and will pass away uselessly. Neither the past nor the future exists. The past exists in your memory and future through imagination. Only the present is real and alive. And if the truth is to be known, it can only be known through the present. During the entire series, keep yourself aloof from the past as well as from the future. Accept that they do not exist for you. Only the moment you are in exists. Only the moment in which you are exists and nothing else. You have to live it and to live it completely. Sleep as soundly tonight as if your whole past has been cut adrift. Die to the past. In the morning get up as a new man. Because it is a new morning, let him who went to the bed not awaken. Let him go to sleep for good. Let him who is ever new and ever fresh arise out of you. To live the present, keep remembering and stay on guard 24 hours every day to see that mechanical thinking about the past and future does not start up again. Watching is enough. If you watch, it won't start start up again, watching an awareness break the habit. The second maxim, live naturally. Man's entire behavior is artificial and result of his conditionings. We always wrap ourselves in a phony, false mantle and because of this covering, we gradually forget our real being. Remove this false skin and throw it away. We have not gathered here to stage a drama, but to know and see ourselves as we really are. Just as actors in a play remove their costumes 
and makeup and put them aside after the performance after the performance so too during such overflows you must remove your false mask and set them aside let that which is fundamental and natural in you come out and live in it one spark develops only through simple and natural living during the days be aware that you hold no position have no profession just and have no status divest yourself of all such masks you are simply you quite an ordinary human being with no names no status no class no family no caste a nameless person a very ordinary individual you have to learn to live like this because in reality this is what you are the maxim 3 live alone indeed the journey from light life to light is born in complete aloneness when one is all alone but generally man is never alone he is always surrounded by others and if there is no crowd around him on the outside he is in the midst of a crowd within this crowd has to be dispersed inside do not allow things to crowd within and the same is true for the outside live by yourself as if you are alone you do not have to maintain relations with anyone else in the midst of these countless relationships you have forgotten yourself all these relationships enemy or friend father or son wife or husband all its infinite forms have to be have so engulf you that within yourself you can neither find nor know your own being have you ever tried to imagine what you are away from those relationships of yours have you ever discarded the garb of these relationships and seen yourself quite separate from them remove yourself from all the, these relationships and know that you are not the son of your father and mother not the husband of your wife not the wife of your husband nor the father of your children nor the friend of your friends not the enemy of your friends and what remains is your real being what remains in you is yourself practice being and living alone in that being by following these maxims you will be able to reach the state of mind that is absolutely necessary for carrying on your journey and for attaining peace and the realization of truth be the medium be the medium to bring light to someone else life be the medium to bring life bring light to someone else dark life risk your life for the one in need a lit candle can light thousands of candles and its own light remains unaffected focus in your life from competition to contribution the life will become celebration a benediction do not try to conquer people rather conquer their hearts do not try to conquer peoples instead conquer their hearts enough for now